Hello everybody, it is Train King James here, back for another update. So this update is the Season 2 update, and at the time of filming this video, Season 1 is not done yet, but I'll likely be in college by the time Season 2 is, or by the, one, by the time Season 1 is done, and Season 2 will be already at that time in production. As of this stage, Season 2 has actually begun production a couple days ago. So this is one of the new sets you will be seeing in Season 2. I will not state what location this is yet. It'll make sense, you know, when the episode comes out and when it'll be used. But Season 2 will feature a lot of new different things for my series. If you caught the little teaser that I posted on Twitter, you can already tell who one of the new characters is and what one of the stories might be. But, um... If you're already looking at the screen now, um, you can see that there's been a plethora of newer characters that have graced the screen, or are going to be gracing the screen, as, um, as you can see. Well, not new characters, new versions of characters, I should say. Because most of the main eight engines that all appeared last season, in some way or another, all for the most part, got an update, minus Duck and Edward, who are all the way over here. So let's look at them individually real quick. We have standard old style Thomas. We switched from the CGI version. I've been wanting to switch to an old style since 2016 when I first got one, but I had to wait because I wanted season one to be consistent. So I used a CGI Thomas for the remainder of season one and been waiting to unveil this one. Percy was a last minute decision change because um, to compare it to last season's Percy, the 92 Percy is in a bit better condition than the other one because this Percy's eyebrows have worn off, stuff like that. So I think this will be the Percy I'll be using this coming season. So I'll be using the 92 one. And speaking of 92, Toby gets an update to become the 92 version. So I know the one I was using had the custom blue side plates, but basically in season two, beginning, Toby's going to mention the fact that he had a repaint and he went back to just gray side plates. I know that's not really series accurate, but I really like the 92 model over the newer style model. So I was really excited to make this switch. I've been wanting to use a 92 Toby forever. Um, James gets somewhat of an update. As you can see, he is the Gold Dome version. You saw this one in the Trackside Tunes collab that have hopefully come out at this point in time, by the time this thing gets um, uploaded. But that is the Gold Dome James that I got from Wooden, Wooden Railway only that I had to do some minor touch-ups to the dome for. But yeah, that James got an update. Got an update from the 92 one that I used to use that was in a bit bad condition. Gordon has gotten a completely different look as he went from CGI to straight the old style, so kind of like what happened to Thomas. I was always more of a fan of the older style Gordon, but the CGI Gordon is the best that I had, so I worked with CGI. I really like the CGI one though, it's a really nice model, but I'm giving it a rest. And unlike everybody else here, Henry's the only one who went to CGI. My new style one that I used was the one that I've had since childhood and it's definitely shown as colors and I've used that one for many 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 years. I have an old style one but I don't particularly like Henry's old style model. I always thought he looks too oddly shaped. He's like too skinny and too tall in some in some parts, at least in my eyes. So here, the CGI model, he's got a great face and if you're wondering, this is the Henry that I used in Journey Beyond Soda or how it should be. Or how it, sh yeah, how it should, or should have been, or whatever it's called. <sighs> I'm kind of distracted because I'm kind of doing this impromptu. Because you know, this is like a last-minute decision to film it now. So season two will feature lots of new stuff, new characters, new sets, new storylines, and customs. There's going to be a lot of customs coming out with season two. So now I'm going to get to the thing that you guys are probably wondering about. As of right now, by the time this video airs, Season 1 is over, and that was the last video you guys saw. So hopefully you guys enjoyed Season 1, I know I did, 
And I'm going to answer, I'm going to talk about a couple of things real quick. Number one is, um, if you noticed in season one, the lighting changes around episode seven, particularly in some shots of the episode. And what happened was, some shots of season episode seven, I believe it happens like once or twice in episode eight. I know in every episode there's at least a scene that has like a different lighting situation. And the reason why that is, is that a majority of season one was filmed at my old house. And if you don't, if you didn't know at this point in time, I've moved homes. I went from living in one part of New Jersey to another part. So now I tried to film as much of season one as I physically could in my old house. There's stuff that I had to reshoot. There was stuff that I had to, that I said, oh, I want to do this scene and add here, stuff like that, and just scenes that I just had forgotten to shoot. So all of that has been taken care of here. And yes, there is a slight lighting difference. Half of me wishes it was closer to what I used to have, because I used to like that lighting. But honestly, I've grown accustomed to this lighting. And it's not that bad, honestly. I kind of like it. It has an interesting aesthetic to it. That makes the engines look really nice. Um, but yeah. That's that. But anyway. So, one of the things... So I'm going to tell you guys the types of videos you guys can expect. So, one of the things I'd really like to do is before season two airs, I'm going to give it some time because I've been busting my butt on doing these episodes for the last few months and I really want to take a break from episodes just for a little time. So I'm thinking as of right now, season two will come out around November. I don't know. It could be pushed back to January. But I have a ton of video stockpiled from all kinds of things like the meetups that I've been on, you know, surprise insides, all kinds of other videos. And I have a few ideas for some other videos I'd like to shoot, too. One of which will be a studio tour. The reason why I didn't shoot one in my old house is because there wasn't really much to show. There was like an area that I had that I stored my engines in, and then the destinations were basically beneath the table, and then other than that, there wasn't anything special about where I, you know, where everything was stowed. So I was just kind of like, eh, whatever. But, now, I have a lot more room because I'm in a basement, and I have a whole portion of a basement to myself. So, the basic idea is I have a whole area of stuff, and you've seen bits and pieces of it that I've posted on Twitter before, and I'm hoping to do a full-on studio tour. So, that will come out somewhere in that mix of videos. There's all kinds of uh, things I'd like to upload. It, I'm not giving a scheduled thing because I can't guarantee, because I'll be in college by the time... I'll likely be in college by the time this video is actually uploaded, but I'll be in college, you know... And I'll be away from home, so I can't guarantee how much time I can dedicate to doing videos. I'm hoping I could put out at least something every week. I have a ton of things stockpiled that require very minimal editing and stuff like that. Maybe I'll do a few reviews on some things. I'll show you guys the studio tour, surprise insights, a couple of vlogs. I'm very excited about the types of videos I can produce. And, uh, yeah. And then, once I'm good and ready, and I think I've really established myself in college, because the reason why I'm taking a break from episodes is two reasons. Number one, I've done so many this entire year, because I've really busted out season one, because season one's been really delayed in my eyes, and I kind of want to apologize for that. I know I really shouldn't, but I, you know, I do want to apologize for why season one has taken so long, and I know you guys have been anticipating it. And, um... I'm trying to think right now. And I'm going into college. It's, I'm going to be a freshman in college. And I want to adjust to college life. And I don't want to have to worry about doing episodes. If I'm going to upload, I want to upload videos that I already have ready. Because I'm going to be prepping a lot of stuff before I go. As of right now, I, my plan is to binge film literally as much of season 2 as I physically can before I leave. Because I probably won't be back home until, you know, Thanksgiving break. Which will be a couple of days. Which... That isn't going to be much for me to do much of anything episode-wise. And winter break. Which, I'll pro I have my own, I have a few projects planned that I actually want to take care of along with episode filming. 
So with any luck, the goal is to film episodes 1 through 10 from now to the from now as in when this video is being filmed to the end of summer when I have to go to college, which is about a month, a little bit less. And prep all those videos that I want you guys to see. I'm not going to necessarily like, schedule them for upload and stuff like that. I'm just going to have them ready so one day I can just be like, oh, hey, I'll just upload this and stitch this together really quick. Because, you know, I want to make sure I adjusted to college life and I kind of, like, digest from the episode experience. I'm really excited about Season 2 because Season 2 is going to really start taking off in directions that Season 1 has just kind of, like, laid the foundation for. You're going to see all of these characters that you see in front of you as well as many, many, many more. I would probably say roughly that the cast in Season 2 is going to double. Roughly. Just based on characters that we really get established and characters that we just kind of get to meet and greet. So I'm really excited for Season 2. Get excited for all these new types of videos I'm going to be uploading and other videos that I haven't uploaded in a while. And yeah. So this is Train King James signing off and see you next time.